Okay, today I'm gonna learn a little bit more about R. I have a simple CSV file here, a comma separated file, which I downloaded from an R tutorial online. In the first row, there's three labels, trial, mass and velocity. And then the rest of the rows contains the data. So the first row contains labels, a kind of a header, and the rest is data. And in the first column, the data is characters, A or B. And in the second and third row for mass and velocity, uh, the data is numerical. Okay, so let's start R and try to read this simple .csv into R. Data, uh, assign to data, read .csv, that's the function in R. Tell the file name, simple CSV, and then the separator is, what was it, comma, and tell, the, tell it that the file has a header, the first row contains labels. Head ligament true. And let's see what R read in. Okay, here it is. That's the headers. If we want, we can get a summary from the, this data. Summary data, that's the R, an R function, summary. In the trial com columns, there were three A's and three B's. In the mass column, the minimum value was 5, maximum va value 11. The mean value 8.25, median 8 to 50. And then the first and third quantiles. Okay, I can calculate standard deviation too. Standard deviation for, let's say, mass. Then I take data and the mass column, and I write the dollar sign to get the mass column, dollar mass. Oh, so the standard deviation here is 2.56. The mean was 8.25, so the, the uh, 2.56, that's how much, in average, these values in this column, column deviate from 8.25. If I just want to... Uh, look at the data for those rows that uh, have an A in the trial column, then I can split the data. So I assign a new variable that I can call split data. And I call the function split. And split what? I split, want to split the data and I want to split on the trial data dollar trial column okay so let's see what split data contains yeah it contains two sections one for a and one for b so, so I, I can read masses and velocities only for a and the masses and velocities only for b so i can get the summary for a summary for split data dollar a so here we can see the mean is actually 10.5 for, for A, and that seems to be correct, 10, 11, and 10.5. So if we want to get the standard deviation for A, let's see, SD calculates standard deviation. SD for split data dollar A and the mass column, and it's 0 0.5, and for the B column, It's 1. Let's see for B. It's 5, 6, 7. Yeah, the mean is 6, and this deviates 1 from 6, and this also deviates 1, one from 6. So that seems to be correct. And that's all, all there is to it. So now you can read a CSV file and do some calculations, and also split it on one column if you want.